Ah, hello. You've uh, found me at home looking at the National Trust for Scotland guidebook to Glenfinnan. When I ran photographic holidays for HF, they have a wonderful hotel on the shores of uh, Loch Leven, incidentally. That's about a dozen miles south of uh, Fort William. But one of the places I would certainly take them would be Glenfinnan. It's on the road from Fort William to Manic. And of course, the reason for going there is the monument to Bonnie Prince Charlie. But in recent years, there has been another reason to go. And in this short programme, I will show you both Bonnie Prince Charlie and the other reason for going to Glenfinnan. So come with me. Bonnie Prince Charlie might have competition now. At Glenfinnan, the viaduct straddling the valley has always been a focal point, and more so since the arrival of the Hogwarts Express, a train out of the Harry Potter films, to the extent that more visitors now expect to see a steam train crossing the viaduct than to gird up their loins and climb the many steps to the top of the monument erected to the memory of Prince Charles Edward Stuart and the Jacobite Rising. You will find Glenfinnan about halfway between Fort William and Malig, on the A830 highway that has the romantic title of The Road to the Isles. There is a car park, visitor centre with facilities, also a railway station and a bus service from Fort William. The iconic monument to Bonnie Prince Charlie is known worldwide. A symbol of the Jacobite Rising of 1745, it was here that the Rising started with the intention of restoring the Stuarts to the British throne. Whilst it ended in failure, the monument erected in 1815 is set in some of Scotland's most inspiring scenery, and it is perhaps this that most photographers seek, Harry Potter notwithstanding though. If it is the Hogwarts Express that you seek, the train, official name the Jacobite, passes over the viaduct shortly after 11 o'clock in the morning, usually with the engine the right way round, returning from Malik around 3pm, but now tender first. But um, check times on the website first. Behind the visitor centre is a rocky knoll reached by a rough path. So be careful. It has a grandstand view of the viaduct. The view in the opposite direction is not bad either, and it is here, the Loch Shore, that most photographers will seek, that is, after the train has passed. Cross the road with care and head for Loch Shiel. There is a charge to enter the monument. Tickets from the visitor centre before you leave, National Trust members free. It is a southerly vista down the lock, and the best time, I think, for a photo shoot is mid to late afternoon. You are shooting into the light that will require some photo knowledge for capturing high dynamic images. I prefer to spot meter a highlight and correct shadow underexposure in post-production, but there are other ways to avoid overexposure of highlights. When I ran photo holidays for HF, I often brought my group here. From the railway station, a rough path leads to a different view of the viaduct. And if you like me, you are into churches, there is one across the road, useful if wet. 
from my many visits, here are a few images of the lock and surrounding area.